magic wood Here in the secret kindergarten The world's best show for kids is starting The secret kindergarten radio show This is Gino from The Secret Kindergarten. Oh my goodness. You know what time it is. It is... Brothers Grimm Story Time. I gotta reach over and grab my book. This is a big, heavy book. Radio. Are you ready? Today I'm going to read you Prince Swan. A maiden was all alone in a large forest when a swan came up to her and gave her a ball of yarn. I'm an enchanted prince, he said. If you unravel the yarn to which I'm attached, then you can release me from the spell. But take care that you don't break it in two. The maiden began to unravel the yarn. And the swan climbed into the sky. She unraveled the entire day. So that the end of the yarn could already be seen. However, just then it unfortunately became caught on a thorn bush. And broke in two. The maiden wept, and since it was night, she became fearful and began to run. Finally, she came to a house whose light she had seen glimmering from afar. She knocked, and an old woman came out. Oh, my child, she said, where are you coming from so late in the night? Please, may I have some food and a place to sleep? The maiden asked. This is a difficult situation, the woman replied. My husband is a cannibal. If he comes home, he'll eat you. If you stay in the forest, the wild animals will eat you. So you had better enter. I'll see if I can help you. The old woman gave her some food and hid her under the bed. Now the cannibal always comes home after sunset, right before midnight, and he generally left right before sunrise. This time when he entered, he said right away, I smell, I smell human flesh! He reached beneath the bed and dragged the maiden out. This will make for a good snack. Oh, replied the woman, why don't you save her for breakfast? Otherwise there will be nothing in the house for you. He let himself be persuaded and soon fell asleep. Right before sunrise, the old woman went to the maiden and said, Hurry and run away from here. Here is a golden spinning wheel for you. My name is Sun. The maiden ran the entire day until nightfall. Then she came to a house in which another old woman and a cannibal were living. The same thing happened here that happened the previous night. At her departure... The old woman gave her a golden spindle and said, My name is Moon. On the third evening, the same thing happened all over again. 
This time the old woman gave her a golden reel and said, My name is Star. She also informed the maiden king, the maiden, that King Swan had been released from the spell and had regained his human shape, even though the maiden had not completely unraveled the yarn. In fact, he was now residing in great splendor on the, gr- on the glass mountain at the top of his realm, where he had married a princess. She told the maiden to climb the glass mountain. Once she reached the top, a lion and a dragon would block her way. But she was so she was to soften them up with bread and bacon, which the old woman gave her. So the maiden departed and continued her journey until she arrived at the mountain where she threw the bread and bacon into the jaws of the monsters so they would let her through. This was how she made it to the castle gate. But the guards did not want to let her pass. So she sat down and began to spin on her golden wheel. The queen peered down from above and wanted to have the wheel. As payment, the maiden requested permission to spend the night next to the bedroom of the king. And when the king was lying in his bed, the maiden sang. Doesn't King Swan want to see faithful Julianne, his bride-to-be? She's come from afar, where she's seen all three, sun, moon, and star, and bravely faced two terrible beasts. Won't King Swan wake up, at least? But the king did not hear her, because the crafty queen had given him a sleeping potion. On the second night, the maiden offered the queen her spindle, and on the third, her golden reel. However, since she had discovered the queen's treachery, she asked a servant to exchange the sleeping potion for another drink. Now, when she began to sing again, the king heard her and recognized the maiden's voice. The next morning, he divorced his first wife, sent her back to her father, and married the faithful maiden who had released him from the magic spell. And it's prayer time, if you don't mind. The sun, with loving light, makes bright for me each day. The soul, with spirit power, gives strength unto my limbs. In sunlight shining clear, I reverence, O God, the strength of humankind that thou so graciously hast planted in my soul, that I with all my might may love to work and learn. From thee come light and strength. To thee rise love and thanks. Let's have some fun. Let's listen to some music. 
by Nancy Stewart of nancymusic.com.
is a fun activity idea for everyone to be able to do at home it's a visualization exercise and the goal of this exercise is to develop your imagination or ability to visualize objects not present to the senses. During a quiet time each morning and evening, darken the room, close your eyes, and imagine a TV screen. And then in your imagination, turn on a channel and picture in your mind what is happening. Describe what you see. Some of you may not see anything at first. Since TV watching may have hurt your imagination. 
It's a tricky one. Do you reckon you can do that? Especially if there are kids around, you kids out there, I reckon you can do this. And it's very magic to work on the power of visualization. What would you put on your TV screen? Today's Daily Words of Wisdom by Manly P. Hall It is most difficult to apply wisdom to simple things. It is easier to explain the whole universe than to understand why a friend is being mean to you. It is easier to plan a whole new world for everyone than to build a good home or make a sad person laugh with happiness. And that's that. So doing simple things well is a sign of wisdom. And we have now reached the end of another episode of The Secret Kindergarten. Thanks for so much. Thank you so much for tuning in. And if you want to replay this episode or if you want to listen to any of the past episodes, there's been there have been quite a lot of them now. You can check them out on YouTube. You can get the podcasts on all podcast platforms. So you can download all of them and play them whenever you want. Find a nice quiet corner of the house. And uh, hopefully all the mums and dads out there, you can buy some nice comfortable headphones and a little well, MP3 player. And set up a nice little listening spot for the secret, secret Kindergarten radio show because you kids out there sit and listen longer than you sit sit for the TV. Thanks so much for tuning in. I love you. Bye.